they've got support through the middle. He strikes a goal! And it hit the post and went in! The skill of the attacker to get that up and back down again, it really takes a lot of doing. Oh, audacious. Hello everyone, this is EG Novo 92 and today I have a new episode of my squad building series. Now this is going to be a nation lads, this is going to be splitting between a couple of nations, this is going to be doing leagues now, this is going to kick it off though, this is going to be the very first episode we're running the 4 3 2 one formation and it's going to be the N Power Championship or the second division if you want. The one below the BPL as some people know it is. Now this formation is going to have a lot of cards in it lads, a lot of variations but this is going to be my final 11, I did try a lot of cards. But as you can see here, the goalkeeping position we have went for Smyko, and that is just an unbelievable reaction save there. I had to show that in the replay. Now, I did have in form uh, Marshall, the Cardiff City's S goalkeeper, and I've had a few other goalkeepers, but for me personally, Smyko was by far the best. He's just got absolutely insane reflexes. He's, the lot is going to be a right back. There wasn't that many, uh, too many options to be honest I tried him and Holt I think it's pronounced from Middlesbrough but I just preferred uh, the lat over Holt just for a little more strength and I think he is a little more quicker as well I believe Holt's got 84 pace on his card but anyway my two centre backs so the first one is going to be Baptiste I think that's how you pronounce it from Blackpool there was a lot of competition as well I had Luke Chambers in there as well um, I, I had uh, the centre back from oh, I can't remember his name right now This is he was definitely the best for me he's got 77 pace lads he's so quick and he's so strong and his partnership he makes with my next uh, centre back it's absolutely insane they're both so strong they're both so strong actually in the air and they both scored a lot of goals from corners for me I'm going to throw in a goal highlight from each of them now this is going to be Osborne everyone pretty much knows him now because I think he's like 25 or 26k and he's a bronze English goalkeeper with a uh, goal uh, centre back I should say and it with, I think it's 81 pace, something crazy like that, but it's absolutely so worth the coins for me personally, because the centre-back partnership they both made was absolutely insane, lads. So if you do have the coins, definitely pick him up. If not, I'd pick up Luke Chambers from Ipswich, or Leicester, I believe it is. Uh, he is a definitely a good replacement centre-back if you don't have enough coins for uh, Osborne. My left-back, there's going to be no competition at all for Olsen. Picked him up right away, and I just never bothered looking for anyone else, because he's so good in this game. 85 pace, he was last year for my Sweden squad, I believe I took a goal, I ran from my own box and scored, I think a lot of you will remember that because it's one of my best goals I think I've ever scored, and he's just as good as this game, he's just the exact same card as last one, as FIFA 12 on my team card I should say, my next centre mid was someone that I used pretty late on in my squad building because I wasn't, I had the 90 pace centre mid, uh, centre mid, I think he was called Gabadon or something like that, and I wasn't really happy with him, so I, I trained about for this guy, I got him for 800 coins and ever since I put him in the squad just went straight from like a 9 to a 10, he's so good in this game, he's got a great passing, got a great long shot, and he's just a great overall card, definitely pick him up if you can, Genus is going to be the man in the middle, sort of the jet, the midfield general if you want, he's got a bit of everything, he can, he can attack and he can defend, he's got 72 pace, 74 shooting, 74 passing, 77, uh, 72 dribbling, and also 69 uh, defender and 70 heading, very very strong stats, just sort of in the middle of the range, he was really surprising to me, but it did cost 12k, so I guess you get what you pay for, now the next player is someone that was, uh, I've never had someone so universally uh, requested for me to use before, everyone's been telling me to use Ambrose since I think last year's game, and I finally got around to it, and I had actually, con I didn't actually convert him, I actually bought him as converted to a CM, and to be honest lads, I didn't really, think he was that amazing from all your comments and everything that's been telling me to use this guy I'd have thought he'd have been a bit of a god but to be honest the 70 rated Nottingham Forest player was actually better than uh, Ambrose for me personally and Ambrose cost me 12 or 13k so if you don't have enough coins for Ambrose definitely pick up the other man from Nottingham Forest the right forward is of course going to be Zaha he scored that amazing chip goal at the start now I could uh, put so many goals in here but I threw in the header because I'm just going to show that these sort of range, you can do that nice goal you saw at the start of this game with a lovely chip beating a few players or he can just run up and score a header, he's so strong in the game as well which was quite surprising, he's good in the air, he's good with either foot, I believe he's only got 4 star skill moves, I think that's what he had last year, some people's kind of uh, confused about that thinking he's got 5 star, he has only got 4 star and there is quite a few competition as well for him but the right forward, as soon as I put him in there he's just an absolute superstar definitely one of the players to pick up and sort of the highlight of the squad the left forward was someone that I was kind of on and off with between him and Craig Bellamy because I actually converted Bellamy to a left forward 
which was quite expensive. I think it cost like 3k or something to do. But anyway, Matt Phillips, I think, just edges out because he's just got a little bit more strength on the ball. He is six foot, so he is a bit of an aerial target as well if I ever want to whip them in. And as you can see there, he's got a delicate, delicate finish, good chip shot, and he makes a great partnership with Zaha. They're both uh, uh, good in the air and obviously quick and got some nice skill moves as well. He's got four-star skill moves and four-star weak foot. So that's why he edges it above Craig Bellamy, in my opinion. The striker's, of course, going to be the man that survived since the Turkey squad, I think that was my last upload, I will probably will be, you see a lovely ball there from the Nottingham Forest man, an absolutely just killer touch and an absolutely unbelievable finish from Kaz, uh, he's so so good in this game, he's only 3k or something like that, so 3k you just pick him up, I know there is a lot of strikers in the SPL, like um, McCormack's another good player who plays for Leeds, I've had, I had him a few times and David Goodwill as well, he's got an underrated card, but definitely, if you're looking for the best of the best, I'd say this is the 11 lads, and that's going to be that. The price of this squad was 65k. The best player was Zaha and Kaz. Kaz Richards, of course, the striker. And honourable mention is going to be Olsen in the left back and Genus in the centre mid position. Weak player, uh, never really had any lads. This is the best 11, so I did use a lot of players uh, to sort of come up with the squad, but this is going to be the exact 11 lads, so don't say where's this, where's this, this is the 11 I believe is the best. Now hopefully you did enjoy this video, if you did please leave a like, I've been CJ Novo 92 thank you for watching, and um, bye bye.